Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel, Beast Soul Talk with Nick Morgan. So today we're talking about three players who have already gone ahead and emerged and have become very good at the game in the fairly new Major League Baseball season. And of course, the 2019 Major League Baseball opening day was just a couple of days ago. And uh, we're already having a lot of fun. Some teams have played three games, four, five, you know, etc. Um... New York Yankees aren't doing so hot, but we're not talking about them uh, at the moment. So right now, what we want to talk about is Christian Yelich and Pete Alonso and Bryce Harper. Those are the guys we're going to talk about today. We're going to mention something that they have all done that's really cool. Uh, Christian Yelich, we're going to start off with him. He has already become part of history, and we're only, for his team, I think like four or five games in to the season. Uh, Yelich has always been a guy... Uh, or at least since 2018, that we've all had our eyes on. He's really good offensively and defensively, and now he has joined a club only a couple players have managed to get in. Christian Yelich is among only like four, I think, players maybe uh, that have hit a home run consecutively in four games, but more specifically, the first four games of the season. Christian Yelich hit a home run on opening day, the game after that, the game after that, and the game after that. So he's already tallied at least four home runs to his 2019 season. And having this really cool feat uh, is something really hard to do. A current player at the moment who has also done this is Trevor Story, who did this a couple seasons back. He hit four home runs consecutively in the first four games of the season. I think this is really cool. Of course, Yelich is the reigning NL MVP. He's looking to grab that title back again, and I think, honestly, he can get it, especially at this rate. The guy's nuts. Like I said, he can hit for contact. He can hit for power. I think he's got some decent speed, and just, you know, in the outfield, he's awesome as well. He was obviously part of that uh, Miami Marlins kind of rebuild thing where they shipped off a bunch of the different players uh, to uh, arbitrary teams. So Christian Yelich, again, yeah, just a big guy to look out for this season. He means business, and he's ready to make action. Uh, I'd honestly not even be surprised if he got invited to do the home run derby. I hope he goes there because that'd be really cool uh, to compete, uh, of course, with the new uh, like prizes, I guess, with the increase of money. Might attract some more people. Christian Yelich, I hope you go to the home run derby. That'd be really cool to see, in, in my personal opinion. At least. So, the next guy we're talking about here is Pete Alonso of the New York Mets. This is his rookie year, but a lot of people have seen him just destroy the baseball in minor leagues. People thought that he was going to come up to majors and maybe be okay, but not the best. He has proved them wrong. In spring training, he was amazing. Uh, the beginning of his 2019 was not the best. He went uh, zero for, I think, the first two or three at-bats. Uh, but then since that point, he is hitting over 500 currently and leads the league in doubles. So, you know, he can easily snag extra base hits and he's already hitting above by, uh, above 500. So he's making progress and he's getting his bat on the ball and just doing what he needs to do. He's driven in a bunch of RBIs already. And I mean, the Mets are really lucky to have him. The Mets are doing really well to start the season. And I cannot wait to see who Pete Alonso becomes, you know, this season and the next couple of seasons in his career, because he's easily a starter for, I think, almost any Major League Baseball team at this point. Uh, yes, first base, there is some decent talent there, but I think he can easily go ahead with a little more experience and compete at a bigger level. Uh, I kind of hope he gets somewhere as well. Maybe the All-Star game, uh, home run derby, we haven't really seen him hit a home run in the big leagues yet. Uh, but I'm sure that's coming soon. I really like this guy. He's actually on my fantasy baseball team. Uh, but I enjoy seeing this guy in a New York Mets uniform. And I like his presence on the field. Just he seems to be going about everything the way he needs to be. Especially as a young guy, as a rookie. He potentially could be the National League Rookie of the Year. I personally think, again, my opinions and stuff. And it's really early on in the season. But I personally think he could be the National League uh, Rookie of the Year. Uh, the only other guy he really has to worry about is Victor Robles, who just hit his first home run a couple of days ago, uh, or of the season at least, uh, and he's very fast, so uh, stolen bases and extra base hits, um, very prevalent for him. But I don't know, it's going to be a tough race. Pete Alonso, great guy, I cannot wait to see him play more. 
So our last guy that we're talking about here today is Bryce Harper. He hit his first home run in a Phillies uniform in 2019, just a couple of days ago. I believe it was Saturday. So two days ago, uh, he went crazy. And as he should, he hit that home run. There's no doubt it of right fields. Uh, you know, ran around the bases, came back, went into the dugout, put his stuff down, came up, and just kind of thanked the crowd and had a huge standing ovation. And then the next day, he hit his second home run of his career with the Phillies. So this guy, off to a very quick start, I cannot wait to see more of him in this Phillies uniform too. I think that just this guy's crazy good. Uh, 330 million is a lot, of, uh, a lot of money, but I think he deserves it for the next 13 years. I think he'll put up decent numbers for the next 13 years, but he should get every penny of that contract uh, as he will. Um, he also actually just announced that uh, he is expecting his first baby. Uh, I don't think it's revealed a boy or a girl yet, but that's really cool. Uh, so a lot of Bryce Harper news going around at the moment. His first two home runs again uh, in a Phillies uniform. <sighs> Comment down below how many you think he's going to hit. I'd say maybe 35, uh, 35, 40. Hopefully that's not too low. I think that is actually pretty decent range for him. But guys, that is going to end this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.